Hello everyone, so what is CAPTCHA? Transcribed as a completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart, CAPTCHA is a test that determines whether a user accessing website or data is real. By providing challenges that prove hard for computers to solve, CAPTCHAs quickly identify suspicious users and modern bots and prevent such activities as scraping and crawling. In this video, we'll look at insights into bypassing CAPTCHA challenges in web scraping. We'll also talk about the different types of tests that can be encountered in the modern internet landscape and discuss useful anti-CAPTCHA solutions to implement in your data gathering operations. So let's begin! Generally, there are three CAPTCHA types – text-based, image-based, and sound-based. With text-based CAPTCHA, it's usually a combination of random letters and characters presented in a hard-to-read format, with characters being turned, scaled, and distorted in various ways. Image-based CAPTCHA often displays several pictures in a grid and asks the user to select a specific type of image, for instance, images with traffic lights. And lastly, sound-based CAPTCHA, also known as an audio CAPTCHA, presents audio clips with a combination of letters or numbers that users have to enter, often accompanied by background noise or added difficulty. Notably, CAPTCHA also has multiple variations of it. For example, HCAPTCHA is a CAPTCHA service that clients can set up on their website. Serving as an alternative to reCAPTCHA, it offers better privacy and provides more control over the CAPTCHA experience. Another example is the popular Google reCAPTCHA, a free CAPTCHA service developed by Google that offers protection for web pages. Just like HCAPTCHA, it uses advanced techniques to catch bot-like activity. One such technique is that Google reCAPTCHA now can even recognize human users without any interaction on its side. They simply take into account the user's previous interactions with other websites, which might be an undesirable approach due to privacy issues. Google reCAPTCHA is also widely used in most of the brand's services and products, such as Google Search, Maps, Play, Shopping, and many more. You can find more information about each of these CAPTCHA types, as well as dig deeper into how these tools work in general in our blog post on how CAPTCHAs work, linked in the description below. Now, it's no secret that CAPTCHAs are one of the biggest challenges when it comes to public data gathering. They interrupt company scraping activities, making it hard to allocate enough time for analyzing data and making the right decisions. A CAPTCHA response during web scraping may look like this. When a CAPTCHA challenge is triggered, it blocks any access to the desired data until the test is passed. One of the ways to overcome CAPTCHA challenge is to use a service that takes care of them manually. However, this approach takes more time compared to using anti-detection techniques to bypass CAPTCHAs by not triggering them at all. The costs can accumulate for larger-scale projects when taking care of CAPTCHA tests manually. Thus, employing anti-detection solutions to avoid a CAPTCHA challenge in the first place can offer a more streamlined and cost-effective approach. That's exactly why Web Unblocker was developed. This web scraping solution, powered by artificial intelligence, successfully bypasses advanced antibot systems, including complex CAPTCHAs. One of its main features is dynamic browser fingerprinting. This feature selects the right combination of headers, cookies, and other browser parameters, allowing you to appear as an organic user and easily get access to the public data you need. Using Web Unblocker is straightforward, as the setup is exactly the same as with proxy servers, so let's review how to use Web Unblocker in Python. We offer a one-week free trial for our website and blocker, so head to the Oxlabs dashboard link in the description below and create a free account to get started. Now, begin by installing the request library, which we'll use to send a web request to the target website. We'll use the beautiful soup package to navigate the HTML and parse the desired elements. For installation, we'll use pip, a package installed for Python, which should install automatically with Python. We'll target a dummy bookstore website, bookstoscrape.com, to get all the titles from the first listing page. The book titles are stored in the title attribute with the A tag, which is under the H3 tag. This dummy website doesn't have CAPTCHAs implemented, so let's imagine that it does. Thus, one of the options for bypassing CAPTCHA challenges is to use a solution like Web Unblocker that doesn't trigger them in the first place. Start by importing the installed Python libraries. 
Next, create the Web and Blocker dictionary object and form the URL with your Oxlab sub-users credentials and the Web and Blocker endpoint. Then, we need to send a GET request to the target website through Web and Blocker. Web Unblocker requires users to ignore the SSL certificate, which is done by adding verify false within the GET request. Afterward, include the proxy's argument and pass the Web Unblocker object to forward the web request through the Web Unblocker endpoint. Now, let's parse the desired data. Here, you can utilize the beautiful soup library to extract the content from the target page. First, create the soup object, which will store the HTML content. Then, Create a for loop to extract all the titles. The soup select uses CSS expressions to select all the A tags inside the H3 tags. Since all the titles are stored as a value of the title attribute, you can retrieve the complete titles names using the get function. If you are interested in learning web scraping, check out our in-depth blog posts on Python web scraping and beautiful soup to get an easy start, which are in the description below. The complete code should look like this. As you can see, it only takes a few lines of Python code to incorporate Oxlab's web unblocker. Using the code, you should expect the following output. Hopefully, these Python examples helped you see how effortless the integration process of web unblocker is. Visit our documentation linked in the description to learn more about its parameters and general integration steps. Also, if you found this tutorial helpful, like, subscribe, and join our Discord server where you can chat with our team of experts and get immediate know-how and help. Now, naturally, you may ask, what about developing your own solution? It's certainly possible, and with enough effort, you can make it capable enough to take care of complex CAPTCHAs. While the development stage may take some time, you can tailor it specifically to the kind of requests you wish to send. This can result in higher success rates, allowing you to perform web scraping activities without interruptions. There are a couple of viable tools for this quest. Playwright, an excellent web testing and automation tool owned by Microsoft, which can also be used to avoid CAPTCHAs. It supports the most popular programming languages, such as Python, JavaScript, and Java. Playlight can work with Chromium-based Firefox and WebKit browsers, allowing the users more flexibility. We've made a detailed blog post specifically on Playwright, so be sure to take a look at this Playwright scraping tutorial for more information. Puppeteer is also a very effective web automation tool that you can use to design a program that avoids CAPTCHAs. While Puppeteer, owned by Google, supports only JavaScript, you can use it in Python with an unofficial library called Puppeteer. The downside of Puppeteer is that it only supports Chromium-based browsers for interaction. If you're curious to learn more, check out our in-depth blog post on web scraping with Puppeteer and the tutorial on how to overcome CAPTCHA challenges with Puppeteer, which is in the description below. Keep in mind that developing your own solution will require you to spend time writing code and micromanaging it to adapt to constant changes. In cases where this is an issue, the better option is to utilize ready-made web scrapers that avoid CAPTCHAs automatically. It takes a mountain of effort to build yourself a scalable scraper that shifts through the web undetected and uninterrupted, but a pre-built tool can ease the process immensely, saving time and resources. You can see how both methods differ in our guide to scraping Amazon provided in the description. And that's it! If you have any questions about this topic or would like to learn more about Web Unblocker, feel free to contact us at hello at or via the live chat. Thank you and goodbye.